Hello and welcome to Isan Licks. Today we should take a ride about in Uba Ratatani province. While I try to give you some historical snippets and facts about the city and province. Therefore, as always, I shall ask you to take a few minutes to relax and ride with me while taking in the sights and listening to some history of Uban Ratatani and of course enjoying the music if nothing else. Ratatani is a large province in the lower part of Isan in the northeast of Thailand. The province borders Cambodia and Laos and is dotted with, a, with mountain ranges and several national parks. Uban's history goes back thousands of years. Traces of ancient man can be found at Partiam National Park, where rock paintings on cliffs show scenes of prehistoric life. Uban Ratatani is also the capital city of the province. Uban Ratatani is often referred to as simply Uban. However, it should not be confused with Udan, meaning Udan Thani, which is another large city and a province further to the north of Isan. The area now called Uban was originally, in historical terms, part of the Khmer Empire until the Kingdom of Ayutthaya seized it in the 1700s. As legend has it, a couple of Lao princes and Many Laotian refugees founded U Uban on the northern bank of the Mun River after fleeing persecution in Vietnam in, into Siam in the late 1700s. They then applied to King Tuxin also known as King Rama I, for his protection and duly granted in 1779-1780 along with the city's new name, meaning Royal City of the Lotus. Later, one of the said princes became the first ruler of Uban Ratatani and the city went on to have four semi-autonomous rulers until about 1882. Then Uban appointed a governor as part of the Kingdom of Siam. The area, as I mentioned, was part of the Khmer Empire 
and before the late 18th century, this area was outside Siamese or Thai Ayutthaya Kingdom. After the fall of Ayutthaya, history says around 1767, several new tribes settled in the area of Uban. Then the Siamese Thai began to expand its influence over the area since the rise of Bombari and Bangkok kingdoms. I do have to say, all the history I have read on the period for the region varies slightly. Dates and events may differ, albeit slightly, but this is briefly how Uban Ratatani came into existence, pulled together mainly by Lao refugees with permission from King Rama I. Of course, however, there is a lot more history involved than what I have just mentioned. But I hope these snippets have given you a brief idea of what took place. Furthermore, please remember, history is important for so many reasons. While Oban Ratatani city sits on the north bank of the Mun River, the town of Warin Chamran is located opposite on the south bank. However, today Warin Chamran is effectively a suburb of Uban city, if it were not for the Mun River. Well, that's my opinion. I do have to tell you that in 1940, French military forces attacked the city, said to be in retaliation for Thai attacks on some French Indo-Chinese towns. Uban did grow extensively during World War II when Japanese forces fought in prisoners of war by Rao from Kanchanaburi, the River Kwai. Of this is a monument in the city's central park erected by British prisoners of war in gratitude to the citizens of Uban for existing them. Then, during the Vietnam War, the United States Armed Forces constructed the in-town Uban Royal Thai Air Force Base, which is now the dual-use commercial airport. Again, during this period, Uban Ratatani City grew extensively. Uban Ratatani province features plateaus and mountain ranges with the Mun River running through the middle. The area where Uban Ratatani borders with Cambodia and Laos, often referred to as the Emerald Triangle because of its magnificent green landscapes.
Then of course, the Lao influence is very evident in the architectural structures of many of the city's religious buildings, the temples, of course. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did please hit the like button, leave me a comment, share the video but better still subscribe to the channel to ensure you do not miss out on our other videos. Well, that is about it for today's video. I thank you for watching. Please take care. And it is a very good buy from me. Bye-bye.